Hi, kids. What do we call you? Do we call you Snow White? Mark here and welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. So with the warmer weather and the melting of the snow, uh, Tara has decided that we were gonna start to feed these guys up front here. Uh, so our hay barn is down there uh, and it just makes more sense to put the hay down in this area here uh, instead of hauling it all the way down to the other building. Uh, so there's Billy and there is Carl over there. So the ponies were out here earlier, but I guess they've decided to head back to the, uh, the shelter area. And here they are, just where I thought they would be. <laughs> Levi, how you doing, buddy? Hi. And got Meadow there, and Daisy is just peeking out of the shelter. Hey, Daisy. <laughs> Welcome to spring. Oh, here comes Billy. He says, uh, what's going on here? Am I missing something? Where is everyone, Bronwyn? Oh, are you going to show me? Okay. <laughs> Everybody must be outside. And there they are. So it looks like Tara's placed some hay out in this area here. Always nice to eat out on the patio. And the pigs, mainly Petey, are rooting through uh, all the cleanup material that we've taken out of the barn. Hi, Piper. Hi. What are you finding, Petey? Is there some good stuff in there? Oh, sounds like it. Uh, so we've still got some of the birds that just like to hang out inside their shelter there. And uh, the rest of them are out here. Hey, Tinker. How you doing, girl? Hi. You like it outside? Oh, yes. After that cold winter. Uh, we have Jasper and Shanzi here and Java and Paula. Uh, and then, of course, Tinker, and we have Turbo here on the left, and George on the right. And, of course, we can't forget Fernando, can we? Hi, bud. Yes, you were inside all winter. Now your feathers are all, all out looking good. <laughs> and the littles over here. So they didn't want to, uh, we left that door open for some time during the uh, fall, uh, but they just didn't want to come out because it was getting too cold. Hi, how are you, Willow? Hi, oh, are you gonna try to jump up? <laughs> Sheldon? <laughs> Yesterday, Tiana and I came out to do the evening feed. And we've been watching the cameras. Uh, we've got uh, cameras situated uh, in multiple areas throughout here, our baby monitors. Uh, so we've been watching them because there is um, Billie Jean and Holly that still haven't given birth. Uh, so everything was good. We came out. Uh, Tiana and I were out here for a few minutes and then we heard some baby crying. And we're like, what is going on here? So we checked and Holly is a mommy? Yes.
So here are the two kids. So they are the newest ones. Uh, now the one on the left, which um, we call Oreo, because of course, you know, black and white, <laughs> uh, with a little spot. She is a girl, and the other little one is a boy. So it was uh, probably, they were probably about 15 minutes apart. It was about quarter to seven when uh, little Oreo here uh, came out. Uh, and then uh, the other one came out, it was probably about two minutes after seven. So here they are sleeping. So they're, what are they? They're not even 24 hours old yet. Normally I'd pick them up and show you a little closer, but they just look uh, so content lying there. I don't want to, I don't want to move them around. Uh, now, Petunia. So Petunia gave birth. It was actually quite early in the morning. It was Friday morning, around 2 a.m. in the morning. Hi, Petunia. How are the kids? Hey. So Petunia gave birth on Friday morning. Uh, so it was about two o'clock in the morning when she gave birth. Uh, and these are two little girls. Now, if you've been watching our videos for some time, uh, the little white one, the pure white one, uh, looks or has the coloring of her grandmother, uh, which is snow. Uh, so Petunia is Snow's daughter, and uh, this one here, very white and uh, very soft. So these are two little girls. Okay, so Petunia had no issue with him. Actually, none of the girls have had uh, any issue giving birth. Uh, they all went uh, without a hitch. Of course, Blackie did have that one that was stillborn uh, last week, so... Hey kids. <laughs> yeah, so it's still a little bit too cool outside uh, to let them out, uh, but we will likely be letting them out uh, to run around outside once the temperature gets up a little bit warmer. <laughs> Hi. You guys are all tired and sleeping. Did you just have lunch? Must have. <laughs> And Coco, where are yours? In the corner, right? Yes, of course. Oh, Mom, Mom's right here. Oh, who's that, Coco? So this is Coco's little girl. Uh, now, these ones actually haven't been uh, handled as much. We like to come out here and sit with the goats uh, so that they're nice and comfortable around us. Uh, and... Uh, we don't have to go and chase them, they'll actually come to us. Uh, so that's something we have to do. Right, Coco? So this is the little girl, and she has a little white spot on the top of her head. Hey, what? Is that your baby? Now, what we've done is when we, when we put the mamas in here and we got everything ready, we put down some diatomaceous earth uh, and that will kill any bugs or parasites that might be down on the concrete or even in the hay that uh, may awaken from the warmth. 
so we want to watch these guys. We have dusted the mamas for bugs, uh, but unfortunately this time of year, uh, bugs are now coming back to life after the cold winter. Uh, so we want to keep an eye on them. So back in behind the neck here, we want to take a look and see if we see any little dots, uh, usually around the ears, which I'm not really seeing any, so that's good. Uh, so we'll monitor these guys and dust them as required. Uh, but normally every year we've got to, uh, we've got to dust them. You want your baby back? Hey, okay. here, we'll put her down. Uh, and then the boys. So there are a couple boys here. Oh, oh yes. Uh, so these guys are uh, seven, eight, nine days old because this was these were the first ones that were born. Uh, so this here is a little boy. Let's see. Just to make sure, yeah, little boy. <laughs> Somebody had asked how we uh, how we sex them. Uh, and Tara's pretty blunt in saying, you know, how it's done. You just look up their tail and you can see. You can see the difference uh, between the two. Hey? Yeah, so you're a little boy. And then we have the other little boy here. Oh, 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 oh. And this one looks very similar to his sister. Uh, with the exception is he's just got a little bit of a uh, larger white spot on the top of his head. Woo! And his ears. Okay, I got you. I got you. There. <laughs> so, and he's got uh, white on his ears as well, on the base of his ears. When you're holding goats, you have to make sure that they're secure, um, and, or else they get a little excited like that. Usually tucking their legs underneath. I think he just... I think he just wants his mom. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna try to work his way in there. <laughs> Usually, when that little tail goes, is a clear indicator of them getting some food. Oh, there we go. All right. Then this point, you look at them, and they kind of just freeze. We call that milk drunk. <laughs> so you know who uh, who has gotten it. How are the kids doing, eh, Mama? How are they doing? Yeah, you a good mom? Yes, good girl. <laughs> Hi, kids. What do we call you? Do we call you Snow White? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not your mama. No, your mama's over there. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. you just start playing? Yeah? <laughs> Where's your sister? <laughs> What's your sister doing? She's the shy one, isn't she? Yeah. She's just hanging with mom. <laughs> so who's this little boy here? This is Edgar. Or Edgar Allan Poe is his full name. Uh, so Edgar came in. We got a phone call last week. And uh, it was a young man that uh, asked if we take in rabbits. Uh, he's moving. I understand he's moving into an apartment or a house that doesn't allow pets. Uh, now, rabbits can be challenging because they chew quite a bit. They love to chew, uh, and their teeth always grow, so they need to chew to keep them in check. So uh, he apparently called around to numerous animal rescues, and nobody had any room for him. So he is extremely friendly, and uh, he... Uh, He's just hanging out in the barn here. He's also fixed. So uh, apparently he used to sleep uh, with him in his bed at night. He's fully potty trained. Hey, bud. You enjoying your carrot? You enjoying your carrot? Yeah. So uh, we'll be uh, keeping an eye out for maybe a home for him uh, because he is uh, he's a little gem. 
Hey, bud. Yes, aren't you? And you're a big boy, too. <laughs> so, yeah, usually the special ones we, uh, we keep in the barn here. Hey, he may go out with the boys uh, once things warm up outside and we get things organized. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Edgar, you just enjoy your carrot. Yes. Yeah. So we were just in the house having lunch, and it looks like Billie Jean is about to give birth. Uh, she's in labor, so hopefully all goes well. Good girl. Hey, good girl. You gotta get it out of there, though. Hey. Okay. Good girl. Keep pushing. Good girl. Mm. Good girl. Come on. Good. Was I just grabbed a little pressure so that she would push. Good girl. Hey, it's your baby. Is that your baby? Good girl. That's a nice brown. I like it when we have all different colors. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, saran wrap. <laughs> but you could see the little nose and the little feet, eh? And I just, because you don't want them stuck around the neck, do you have to help? No. They'll probably do it on their own, yeah. but it's just not, get it out. Yeah. So, and it's just, just light pressure and it just creates that, <laughs> right? So that they push the rest of the way. <laughs> and all the talking and licking now will actually just make more stuff go on. Get the mus muscles getting in next to it. Look, okay, that's so funny. He's looking at her. The sneezing is getting the mucus out of the, the baby's mouth. Yeah. And what she'll do is she'll chew down the umbilical cord. Because they're attached, they have a long umbilical cord. So right now she's chewing that umbilical cord off so that she can eat the rest of the sack. It's so crazy to just know. Like just... Nature. Yeah. Nature. You got another one in you though, right? You got another one in you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey? What was the guess? Girl. It's got a black tail. Oh. That is hilarious. It is a girl. It's got a black tip tail. Good 
girl. Good girl. Jeez, that one came out kicking. See how kicking it was kicking when it came out. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Sneaks it out. What I'm doing is squeezing down around their, their nose and nostril to get the liquid out. Mark, you want to throw me that other paper towel? It's like brindle. Hey. Good. Good. Welcome to the world. There you go. It up. So we're back in the house and all went well. So we have a total of, what is that? 11. 11. 11 kids. So I was kind of thinking, I was telling Tara earlier, I said, goat week, am, are we going to have to put this into another week? Because I was kind of officially calling this goat week as in a play on shark week. <laughs> uh, but uh, no. So Billie Jean had the last two, so that concludes Goat Week. If you haven't seen uh, the other videos I did this week, I did, uh, I think, two videos during the week. Uh, one of them was bottle feeding the kid goat, so go and check that. I'll put a link down uh, or at the end of the, uh, the video here. Uh, and they are doing great, aren't you? Yes. So they're, uh, we're approaching feeding time in probably about half an hour, uh, but they're starting to play and jump around uh, on their little uh, jumpy uh, toy over there, <laughs> the little horse. <laughs> hey kids, yes, and those little tails, just a wagon. Hey? Hey kids! Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Maggie? What do you think? Yes, are those your kids? She tried to claim them there for a bit. <laughs> that is it for this video. Uh, Tara and I are both tired. I think I have some kind of head cold. I was doing some editing and noticed that my voice was a little weird. So if you picked up on that, uh, I guess we all get sick from time to time. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you all uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe learn something. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Uh, and uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, click on that subscribe button. We'd love to have you back again. Uh, until next video, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.